Hello Aries, this is your November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Aries individuals, so please keep that in consideration. I may pick up from the last energies and or the last reading and get the same energies or continue on with those energies, or I may get a tire different new energy for Aries this time. But this is for November 2018 Aries. Full Celtic Cross Aries. November 2018, starting November 2018, Aries. I do meditate on your sign. And I uh, shuffle prior to this, just concentrating. But incoming energies for Aries, hopefully it's a positive one. King of Swords. Now this could be you taking on this energy, even though it is an air energy. It could be also an actual air energy. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. They are in the upright. They're considered very powerful people and wise and intelligent. They usually have old, old souls, as they say. Collaboration. You're doing something in your life that has, more, has to do with more than one person. Could have a lot to do with your work and finances, and it's in the upright. So you're collaborating with other people, or they're collaborating with you. It's a good card, upright. It's crossing you. Uh, you maybe want to be careful because you got the four cups. Someone may miss an opportunity or not like an opportunity that is presented to them, and you may be kind of leery about accepting just anything that comes towards you with the four cups. Your goal is the magician is to manifest what you want, to go for what you want, and you're able to do so. The magician is able to accomplish a lot because they have the know-how, more or less the knowledge and tools to do so. The foundation, the hangman, you're still waiting around for something. You're being patient, waiting around, waiting for the right opportunity. In the past, you got the Knight of Pentacles. So far, these cards are all in the upright. That's pretty cool. Things went kind of slow. The Knight of Pentacles, it could be an Earth element or someone taking on an energy. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But it also could be someone taking things slow financially because they want stability. Sometimes the best things take time. Near future. Whoa. It's a uh, Ten of Pentacles, independence, finally getting where you want to go, or finally arriving to where you want to be financially and uh, becoming more independent. This is a good, uh, very good card. It's an excellent card. It's about finally reaching your goals. For some of you, it may be something small. Something you've been working on for some quite some time. Whatever you've been working on diligently, probably with the Three of Pentacles, the Magician. And hopefully this is, resonates with a lot of Aries because they're excellent cards. Is that you're going to accomplish what you want. You're going to finally get something that you have been working for. And my ladies down here, because this is like uh, the subject at hand and the near future. And this is the distant future, so I'm hoping things will keep on going smoothly. Because you're going to accomplish something, small or large, I don't know what it is, but you're finally going to arrive at something that you've been working on, like I said. Now, I hope I got this different setup here. Let me move this over so we can see all our cards. These are a little bit bigger. I wasn't expecting these are a new deck. I was not expecting it to be this big. Now I gotta try to reach, get it into the screen to where you can actually see it too. That's the whole idea. But like I said, you got that ten of pentacles. It's a good, good it's a good start for me for uh, I think for November. But let's get to the back to the beginning. The three of pentacles with the four of cups crossing it. You just not, may not be accepting anything that's there. You may decide not to take up something that is offered to you. You may go for th better things. But Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Why You There for Aries in November 2018. These are very good cards, by the way. 
so far. Ace of Swords. You're watching your words. You're watching what you're saying. Because with the Ace of Swords, you're not just being forceful and putting things out there. Even that you're collaborating. You're just not going to say it's my way or the highway right now. But at the same time, you know you're able to manifest with that magician up there. But I need another card for the Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. For Aries. November. Queen of Cups in reverse. Maybe dealing with the Queen of Cups. Uh, could be a water type energy. Someone taking on that energy. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But they're in reverse. So you may be dealing with somebody... There is collaboration, but you got somebody around you that's a little, a little over emotional or express themselves a little bit too much sometimes. Sometimes they get a little carried away. It's not that they're terrible people; it's just the way they are. They just like to express themselves, and you may be biting your tongue a little bit with them because you're trying to manifest something. And so the best thing to do, I mean, it'd be very difficult for Aries to bite their tongue, but it looks like they will be a little bit. And you got the Magician as the goal. And that's a great card because it's in the upright. It's a magnificent, it's, it's an awesome card, I should say. And it really is about someone who knows what they're doing in life and how to accomplish it. So the Magician, why are you there for Aries? You're in the upright. Why are you there for Aries? Queen of Wands. Fire type energy. That could be your energy. Queen of Wands puts on their crown. They know what they want. They know how to accomplish everything. They also got a lot of charm. But as you know, it could be Aries. Could another Air, Or it could be another Aries. But I'm thinking it's your energy. Leo or Sagittarius. They are in the upright. So far, I'm getting a lot of good cards. Can I get another card for the Magician and the Queen of Wands? It's a great goal, and sometimes it is the outcome also. Competition is out there. You're, you're, you're going to compete. You're going to go for what you want with the five of, of uh, wands, staves, whatever you want to call it, rods. Uh, that's someone who is uh, competing with other people, and they're competing with you too. But there's a lot of competition out there, but with the magician, you're able to manifest what you want. Now the foundation, you got the hangman, waiting around, waiting for the correct opportune time. Hangman, why are you there? For Aries. The Hierophant, uh, because broken contracts happen in the past possibly, this is the why card. This is why you're hanging around because things didn't work out in the past. So you're being patient now. And you're not going to be stagnant. You're not wanting to be stagnant like you were before. You were, you're waiting around. This is a, sometimes it's a stagnant card in itself. But you're waiting around on purpose. Cause, because, because this is the because of why, the Hierophant reverse contracts broke. And you didn't want to be stuck with something that wasn't for you. With the Eight of Swords in reverse. Now in the past you had the, the Knight of Pentacles. This is patience also. I know Aries are thinking, I'm not patient. But you are when it comes to this business decision. Because you know you're able to accomplish something. Knight of Pentacles. Why are you there? Star card. You have hopes. Dreams, things you hope to accomplish with the star card and the upright. Can I have another card? Because before you didn't always get those offers. You had to work for everything. And I do see your goal is to manifest, but at the same time you're being very, very patient. Even though it's not an Aries trait, Aries knows how to work and get what they want too. Now, in the near future, you got the Ten of Pentacles, which I said is an awesome card. It's independence. You may be uh, working in your own, um, excuse me, own business, your own ventures, entrepreneur. Uh, finally, really liking what's there. Feeling like this is really what I want to do with my life. Ten of Pentacles, why are you there? For Aries. Great card. 
You're not going to have to work too hard for it. Even though up there it shows that you have the know-how, it's not going to like tax you because this is the Eight of Pentacles. This is something, the why or how come or because. And it's in reverse. It's someone not working too very, not working very hard for what they're wanting to accomplish. Can I get another card for the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse there? But you're not walking away this time. You're not walking away. Things may have gotten a little sticky in the past before because, like I said, the contract didn't work out. And you might have came out of feeling trapped. And you're waiting for better opportunities, which you will be getting. And I don't see you walking away from anything. But you're not working real hard when this this independence come, comes towards you. It's, it's not going to be one of those uh, drag jobs where you're working yourself to death. It's not going to be like that. And you're not going to walk away from this opportunity either. I don't blame you. Now, this is the advice card or the possible future outcome. This is what I call it. You're going to, you're going to, uh, not, you're going to end something that was no longer served you and you're going to go on with something else. So while this is happening, you're going to cut things off from your life, certain things, whether relationship, job, it doesn't matter. Or somebody else may cut this off with you because you're going on to d different avenues in your life, manifestations. The death card is not necessarily a terrible card all the time. It means you're getting rid of, you're, you're really cutting something out. You're saying, I'm done. And then you're going to go on to something else. It will be a little painful for you or somebody else. But the advice could be also, it could be, like I said, advice saying, you know, you need to cut out the negatives in your life so you can get the manifestations you want. But the death card, why are you there for Aries? High priestess, trust in your intuition on this this time. Trust in yourself. Even though this may be a burden for you. You cutting something out and trusting your gut instinct may be a burden for you. It's not going to be easy on this part, whatever you're cutting out. Now, your work situation isn't going to be bad, but you're cutting something else out that's a burden. Or, there is, like I said, it could be the advice of the universe telling you to cut out things that are burdens. It's coming towards you. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Good offer coming, a stable offer, a sound offer, a new offer. Ace of Pentacles, why are you there for Aries? Because, because before, remember these why, you didn't like the choices you had before, and things weren't going the way you wanted to before, you were being patient. And you may actually decide, like I said, take on more than... I'm thinking you're going to take on more than one thing. Even though it may be a little bit negative. But there's something stable coming towards you at the same time with the Ace of Pentacles. It's a great card. It's a sound offer. It takes time, but it's a good, good card. These are the lasting energies. This is kind of... If I wanted, all, if I wanted any card in the deck, it would definitely be the Ace of Pentacles. But the why, this is the why. And it could be for some of you that, like I said, things didn't always come in the way you wanted to. The choices you had to make kind of were like off. They weren't uh, good choices or the choices, I should say, that you wanted to make. This thing keeps on wanting to slide into there, these cards. These other cards are right next to it. They keep on trying to slide into the spread. Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Wands, why are you there? What's going on? Because before there was no give and take. You got something new coming in. Because in the past, things weren't always on the up button up the way you wanted to. And there was no give and take. But for some of you, I'm trying to think the best solutions. Because there's so many different things going on here. Like I said, the Ace of Pentacles is wonderful. But I'm thinking, 
There's also things coming towards you where someone's not given and taken. It may be that there are stipulations with this Ace of Pentacles. Some of them you may not like, but it's a solid offer. That's all I can, I can tell you. You could leave in the comments what you think it is because everybody's a little different. It's going to be different for everybody. But there's some attachment to, and it could be that's the reason why the death card is there. You're going to have to cut out something. Because this offer that's coming towards you, for some of you, there are stipulations attached. Like you may have to give more. Or you may say there's a stipulation that they must give more. And I don't think you're going to turn from that decision. But also, like I said, you may be taking this offer because in the past there was no give and take with something else. You know, broken contracts, entrapment. Your hopes and fears that you'll get these offers. Good offers with a page of cups. Offers that you love. It's in the upright. You're hoping for that. Your fear could be that you not get it. But page of cups. Why are you there? I'm trying to get you to see all these. I don't know if I'll continue to use these cards, but they're sure are awesome. We'll put this there. Page of Cups. Why are you there? It's the hope and fears for Aries. Victory. You're hoping for a victory. Nothing wrong with that. Six of Wands in the upright. Celebrations. Fun. And you're fearing that you won't get your independence or be financially secure the outcome there may be a betrayal at the end be careful be careful that could be why that death card is there too you may be putting something to rest it could be that you are going to feel betrayal stabbed in the back or someone else is going to be feeling stabbed in the back I'm thinking because you're going on to better things, someone may feel left out and stabbed in the back. You may have to leave something behind. The Ten of Swords. It's going to be a little bit of pain involved with you moving on to this financial security. Ten of Swords, why are you there? Someone's going to get their heart broke. Something's ending. There's an ending. You're going to end something, or someone may end something with you, too. This go either way, but someone's going to get their heart broke. And I'm thinking someone is moving on to like financial situations. They're more, uh, they're more concerned about their independence and, like I said, financial um, victories and rewards. So yeah, you're going to have to make a choice, and you're not going to want to. But there are going to be stipulations. That you're going to have to make. Some of you may actually have to move or something or give up something. But someone's heart is going to be broken. They're going to feel betrayed. We do have that hair font reverse of a broken contract. Maybe you were staying it off, but eventually it's going to happen. Like I said, whether you're doing this or somebody's doing it to you. Ten of Swords with the Three of Swords. Why are you there for Aries? Something's ending. And I think you're doing it. I don't think someone's going to be able to get over it right away. So keep that in mind when you're ending something, Aries. The, watch those heartstrings with the person next to you or those around you. Could be more than one person. Could be a family member, family members. Ugh. Yeah, someone's not going to be happy. So if you know what this is about, leave it in the comments. If you want to. But while going for your gold and the wonderful things in life, things are going to get cut out and leave someone heartbroken. And also for some of you, yeah, someone's going to be feeling chained and obsessed over it with the devil card at the end. you got all these good things coming, but at the same time, while you're getting all this, I'm going to move some of this out of the way. While you're getting all this, all that you want, 
there is a price. And I hate to say it, Aries. Someone's going to be heartbroken. I saw that a while back in one of your reads, that someone gets heartbroken. And it looks like it's going to be coming about. It doesn't have to end to end, but with that Ten of Swords, it usually is. And we had the Death card. That's usually an ending. Not a lot you can do with that. I'll make these look better in the future. I'm just dealing with new cards. So, and they're kind of big. I didn't expect that. Is there anything I don't like about tar Tarot? The cards can get way too big. But, this is your reading. Success is on the way, but there's heartbreak too attached to that success. And that is your reading, Aries, and I will talk to you later.